A month ago, we had the Apple virtual event, and the product we were not or were expecting to see were the new AirPods Studios, along with the Apple AirPods Studios release date and price. We believe that the studio is ready to launch any time now. Don't know what these are and want to find out more info? Let me tell you more right after this. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So we are nearing the end of the year and coronavirus does not stop Apple from organising free virtual events. Just under two months we've seen some great products. We've got the new Apple Watch 6, the Apple Watch SC, the iPad 8th generation, the iPad Air 4, the HomePod Mini, four new iPhone 12 models and of course the new Silicon Max. However, there are two products in the making that have not been announced or feature, and these were the Apple AirTags and the AirPod Studios. Today I want to focus on the AirPod Studios. So I've decided to make you Apple fanboys and girls a little video about the Apple AirPod Studio launch date and the tech specs we are expecting to get. So, just recently, this channel has just hit over 95,000 subscribers, what is amazing! We're 5,000 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers, what is amazing as well. So because of this, I've decided to do a bit of a giveaway, and that giveaway is for one of these. It is an iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 100 thousand subscribers so make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification and later on this video i'm going to give you a bit more details on how you can possibly be the lucky subscriber to get your hands on this iphone 12 pro so airpod studios are traditional design headphones from apple we have had earphones or earpods or whatever you want to call them that go straight into the edge of your ear canal these new headphones are not like that they are your traditional over your head headphones that go over your ears instead. We've been hearing rumours about these new headphones which will be the first Apple branded over ear headphones Apple has released unless you count the Beats headphones that they currently sell. It seems likely now that the AirPod Studio will be announced and launched early next year in 2021. We are very confident that we will see the AirPod Studios as just recently, although Apple has its own line of earphones and Beats accessories, the company used to offer third party headphones in its stores and online. But this is about to change. A new Bloomberg report reveals that the company no longer sells rival earphones, headphones or audio accessories. The reasoning behind this looks to be quite simple. It's because of the AirPod Studio announcement in the October event. This is not the first time Apple has removed a product from a third party from its store before introducing a competitor in that same area from their own branding. The company stopped selling Fitbit products in 2014 right before announcing the Apple Watch, as well as the same with Sonos devices with the introduction of the HomePod. We believe we'll be able to get our hands on the new Apple AirPod Studios by the end of October with the announcement being very soon. AirPod Studios will join the AirPods lineup with the AirPods 2 and the AirPods Pro and the new headphones will be distinct from Apple's existing Beats lineup. So right away, they are not a successor to the AirPods in-ear pods that you get right now. They are more of an alternative device that goes over your ears instead. So that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in a chance to get your hands on that iPhone 12 Pro, I would like to know from you, do you own any AirPods at the moment? Or maybe you might be investing in some other wireless earbuds. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be planning on getting any AirBuds anytime soon. And then when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I will reveal who the lucky winner is of the iPhone 12 Pro. So make sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell to find out if you are the lucky winner or if somebody else is. Current rumours indicate the AirPod Studios will feature active noise cancelling, 
equalizer settings controlling through an iOS or Mac device and head and neck detection, similar to the ear detection in the AirPods, but I will talk about more about this in a mo. It has been said that Apple could be working on two designs as well, one that is a higher end premium version and one that is a fitness focus made from a lighter weight materials. Both versions may feature magnetic ear caps and headband padding that's able to be swapped out for a more customizable look, similar to the Apple Watch bands. So starting with that premium version first, it will be made with leather-like fabrics and that fitness focus model will be using lighter, breathable materials for better airflow and your neck, head and ears not feeling so sweaty. For features, we're expecting active noise cancellation, what I already mentioned. What is a high-end feature baked into the Beat Studio 3 headphones, the Solo Pro headphones and the current AirPads Pro? So you can imagine it should be quite easy for Apple to replicate this into over-ear headphones. Active noise cancellation is designed to cut down on ambient noise so you can focus on what you're listening to coming through the actual earphones. If it mimics the features of the AirPods Pro, there will be a transparency mode that will enable noise cancellation features, but with an option to continue to hear what's going on around you. It's really, really clever stuff. This in return will give you a better sound quality that is a quality also expected to be better than the sound quality of the AirPods and the AirPods Pro at the moment but no specifics about how the sound be like has been rumoured so far. A number feature that the current AirPods and the AirPods Pro have is an ear detection feature that stops the music when an AirPod is removed off your ear. AirPod Studios are said to have a similar feature that can detect whether the headphones have been lifted off your head or they are around your neck instead. It is said that there are some clever little sensors inside it that can detect whether the headphones are over your head, over the, around your neck, or if you're just holding them in your hands. When the headphones are moved down to your neck for example, the sensor will presumably pause the music that's playing. Another cool feature is orientation detection. This allows the AirPods Studios to be worn any way around. There will be a sensor that will be able to detect left and right ears for routing audio channels, which means there is no right way or wrong side for wearing the headphones. For colour of the actual AirPod Studios, we're getting mixed reports. There are some concepts and details are saying that the AirPods will be white and others are saying that they will be black. In my opinion, if they are white and if they're anything like the current AirPods, they will be able to get quite grubby and dirty quite easily, especially if they are now not made out of plastic and have more of a leather kind of look to it and also cotton as well. You can imagine if you're doing exercising and wearing these AirPod Studios, you can imagine your sweats will probably change the colour of the AirPod Studios. I don't like to go into the full details, but I'm sure all of you have witnessed something like this with wearing these type of headphones. So fingers crossed in my opinion that they will actually turn out to be black, and if they are white, hopefully they are cleanable. As mentioned again, it is rumoured that the AirPod Studios will be announced at the Apple event and it will be available near the end of October time. Apple is said to be planning to sell the AirPod Studios for around $349 US dollars, which is the same pricing as the current Beat Studios in the Beats lineup. Well guys, this is the latest details we have on the AirPod Studios and I hope it's cleared some bits and pieces up. I'm sure they're going to be great either way when they are released. So will you be buying a pair of them? I would love to know if you are going to be planning on buying a pair. Leave your comments below in which colour you'd like to have, black or white, or what preference you'd like to have. Would you have the premium ones or would you have the more sporty versions? Well guys, it's also time to wrap this up now, so don't forget if you ever liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do press that subscribe button followed by that bell. Until next time guys, see ya!